Now Your Weather with Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Even with much cooler weather this afternoon compared to yesterday, temperatures were still above normal. It was our fifth straight day with above normal high temperatures, and we've got a couple more on the way. Here's a look at your seven day temperature trend. We're going to see highs in the mid 50s both tomorrow and Thursday, and then the bottom's going to drop out. Upper 30s to lower 40s for Friday and Saturday, and then only in the 30s for Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. And right now some spots have already dropped down into the 30s, including Oconto where it's currently 39 and Anigo where it's 38. Besides that, we have mid to upper 40s across most of the area, including Appleton. 45 is the current temperature in Green Bay. Skies have cleared out. It is 49 and we have a dew point of 29 and often the dew point is a good indicator of how cold it's going to get across the area with perfect conditions and I think we will see that later on tonight into tomorrow morning. Quiet weather across the area once again today as far as the radar is concerned. So far this month we've had a couple of flurries, we've had a couple of sprinkles, but no measurable precipitation across most of northeast Wisconsin, but that will be changing as our next weather maker approaches from the west tomorrow night into Thursday. Right now our main weather maker is an area of high pressure. Underneath it this afternoon we had above normal temperatures across the central and northern Plains. Most locations were in the mid 50s, and that's what I'm expecting as we head into tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures running about four to seven degrees above normal for this time of year. We'll see a mixture of clouds and sunshine throughout the morning, but the clouds will gradually win out as we head into the afternoon and evening as that next weather maker approaches from the west. It could produce a couple of rain showers south and west of Oshkosh by around midnight tomorrow night, and then a much better chance for rain and or showers as we head through the day on Thursday. And yes, there's going to be enough cold air wrapping in behind this system Thursday night into Friday that we could see some rain or snow showers across the area. This system is also going to allow much colder weather to dig in from the north and west. This is going to be a strong storm. It's going to produce a ton of snow across northern Minnesota and southwestern Ontario. We'll have very gusty winds as well, and it's going to allow some much colder air to dive south out of Canada into the uh, Great Lakes region as we make our way into this upcoming weekend. Here's Sunday morning temperatures running well below normal for the middle of November, and it looks like we'll stay that way as we head into early next week as well. So your forecast for tonight calls for clear skies and colder temperatures. Overnight lows will be in the mid to upper 20s, our coldest night in about a week. Tomorrow, sun and clouds, and then the clouds gradually winning out as we move through the day. High temperatures will be running well above normal. Once again, my three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 56. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to Eats for East. And we did that the last time I had to forecast. I forecast a high of 47. Last Thursday, the actual high temperature was 48 degrees. As we move into Thursday, a good chance for rain or showers. It's going to be windy mid 50s. Behind that system, much colder weather moves in for Friday. Some rain or snow showers, sun and clouds on Saturday. Windy upper 30s to lower 40s. And then believe it or not, an Alberta Clipper is going to move in Saturday night into Sunday. And it does appear right now that it will produce accumulating snow across parts of the upper Midwest. Ooh. That could include parts of Northeast Wisconsin. Stay tuned. We'll update the forecast as we get closer. Really the big story, colder temperatures, highs only in the 30s as we move into next week. It's going to feel like really a football season, like a real football game yeah. in November in Wisconsin. We, for sure. We could have rain and or snow at Lambeau. It might feel good. <laughs> I'm ready That'd be for fun. it. Yeah. Cam, thank you. Still ahead here tonight, a new